Mosquito season in Swedish Lapland. This summer I want to hike along the Kungsleden, a trail in Swedish Lapland. The trail cross wet forests and swamps and I have read that in these places mosquitoes and other insects are a nightmare due to their countless number. Which is the best time to go and possibly avoid them. Or at least avoid the worst period. I can choose any month from June to September, but due to the weather conditions it is probably better to avoid June still snow on the path and September the temperature begin to fall, but I can consider them anyway if it is the only option. Mosquito mosquito mosquito. I've hiked a lot in Swedish Lapland, and I used to live there for nearly six years. The mosquitoes can indeed be very bad in summer, in particular in the forest. Mosquitoes wake up between mid and late June and are worst at the beginning. For a very early season hike, you might have none at all if you go just before they wake up, or you might get the worst mosquito experience you can imagine. Hiking Kungsleden before midsummer is not realistic in a normal year, as there will be too much snow. Some sections require seasonal bridges or seasonal boats. Hikers have gotten stuck due to hiking out of season, unaware the boats wouldn't be in place, and having not enough food to hike all the way back or around. Don't be that person. Don't try to hike Kungsleden before the mosquitoes come, it's not usually feasible. July is bad. July in the forest can be very bad. Much of the forest is swampland. Avoid to be anywhere below the treeline in Swedish Lapland in July, unless you are a natural predator of mosquitoes. Above the treeline is better as there's usually some wind to blow the mosquitoes away. August is less bad than July. From about mid-August, the mosquito density in the forest becomes quite bearable. August is quite good for a hike, although I'd still bring insect repellent. Late August to mid-September is the best season for hiking for several reasons. The landscape is spectacularly colorful. There are no more mosquitoes, the night frost kills them. There is likely aurora borealis northern lights at night. The nights are dark allowing you to sleep. There are less crowds. Crowds? Yes, Kungsleden gets crowded in summer. If you want to avoid crowds, consider Nordkalatruda regardless of season instead. If you hike Nordkalatruda or Grensisimen in September, you will meet few other hikers, perhaps none at all, but even Kungsleden starts to be okay by then, in particular in the more quiet sections you may only meet several groups per day. Around mid-September, the trees lose their leaves. The landscape starts to lose its spectacular colors. Snowfall is common, and unlike August or early September, snow may not melt within hours. From around early to mid-October, snowfall will not melt at all until following June. On the plus side, if you hike late September, you will have the mountain all for yourself, even on Kungsleden, but the same problem as before midsummer applies, as seasonal bridges and boats may have been removed, I don't think exact removal dates are publicly announced, but for boats certainly before the lakes start to freeze over around mid-October. One of the most spectacular hikes I've done was four days in October on Nordkalatruda between Vodnabata and Surskoman, but I lived in Kiruna at the time so I knew the conditions. We were the last visitors for the next five to six months there. Mosquito mosquito mosquito, not Kungsleden, but if you're feeling masochist, spend midsummer or early to mid-July in the valley of the upper Konkama River, you will forever remember any Lapland mosquito experience in not as bad as terms. As I was cycling along the road, almost without brakes, as there was only one slightly windy spot for 100 kilometers, I saw people fishing with head-to-toe mosquito nets, and despite midnight sun it was quite dark in my thankfully mosquito-proof tent in the morning, as it was entirely covered in mosquitoes.